my check, 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 Justin Hunt. It's all happening. Thank you guys for rocking with the channel. It's priceless. Uh, we're having a good time over here, and you guys are the reason I'm able to stay so active and so engaged in everything that's going on on this channel. A uh, big salute to everyone who has donated to the Cash App. If you'd like to contribute to the mission here at the Company Man YouTube channel, it's right up there. And also everyone who's donated to the Linktree. And big shout out to my members, of course, the Illus Analysts, 57. We got 57 members. Big shout out to my newest members. Uh, Dinkin Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire. I think I got that right. Big shout out to Luis, Jesse Brom, and Phil on D's. That's a real, that's a real illest analyst. We are, we, we, we creative people <laughs> over here at the TCM community. Also on the channel right now, we have the first clip from the daylight interview. He talks about the stipulations between that he be, he believes are necessary for him to battle loaded lux. I mean, both these two are battle rap titans. They're three of my they're two of my three favorites. It's Daylight, Loaded Lux, and Pat Stay, rest in peace. But these guys are top five overall masters at everything from the lyrics, from the from the content, the consciousness to the antics. Uh, it's been talked about for a long period of time. And so Daylight in this clip talks about how you know, what he deems would be necessary. And apparently him and Lux tend to agree on this same point. But what he agree, what he thinks would be necessary, the stipulations, the negotiations, the, the con contractual covenants that he would require uh, in order to finally battle loaded Lux like we all really want to see. I mean, this is, it's a big deal. Uh, and he also talks about how Drake made an offer. He offered a purse, a substantial purse, he wouldn't give the exact number. He gave numbers in the seven-figure range for a battle, which is crazy. Um, and he also said the same thing about Joe Budden, right? So take a look at that. Um, that's on the channel right now. Two quick stories for you today. One of them is awful, and one of them is awesome. Okay, we're going to start with the awful today. I almost didn't talk about this. I was so disappointed in this. Now, Sexy Red... As you guys know, she is a rapper. She's from St. Louis. Uh, the only time I believe we've talked about her on this channel was when Drake jumped on her single, You My Everything, where he tried to reclaim the BBL Drizzy beat and started rapping about, yeah, I'm BBL Drizzy. I buy, I buy chicks BBLs. It was corny. Uh, I don't believe we've talked about her outside of that. Big shout out to Box Den. I'm a big fan of Box Den. That's my favorite forum. I'm in there all the time. And that's the first time I saw Sexy Red was in Box Den, right? They, they, they played the booty hole, they posted the booty hole Brown song. And I promised the song had like less than a thousand views, right? This is, this is how long that, ago that was. But since then, you know, Drake's been supporting her, pushing her. You know, they must have some sort of deal together because Drake has been pushing Sexy Red for a long time. Kendrick said it. When I see you stand by Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches. So I believe that's the only context we've talked about Sexy Red. Now, Sexy Red has been controversial in a number of ways. I think people, particularly women and probably older people, probably just older people and women at this point in time, they, they're starting to look at her as not being the best influence for kids. Now, I am someone from the, the generation of Kaya. I am from the Little Kim generation. Okay, I'm from the Adina Howard generation. I remember watching Kaya get very upset when people compared Sexy Red to her. Now, I personally feel like my pink, my booty hole brown is basically the same song as my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. Okay, to me, that's the same song. Now, I say all that to say the controversy around Sexy Red isn't what bothered me. Truthfully, I, it's real easy for me to ignore Sexy Red. I am not her demographic. I don't have kids, so I don't have people in my address walking around talking about my booty pink, my booty, my booty hole brown. I just don't have that, right? So 
to a degree outside of when she crosses over into Hot 97 Summer Jam, for example, where, you know, Method Man and Red Man at the end of the Summer Jam this year talked about how they didn't want to, they probably wouldn't go perform there anymore because, you know, their era has passed for what Hot 97 is marketing and Sexy Red had one of the biggest performances or Sexy Red jumping on or Drake jumping on a Sexy Red song, for example. That's really how I interact with Sexy Red. And two days ago, I had the extreme, severe misfortune, misfortune of seeing what Sexy Red is now selling to her fans. It is very common for women entertainers to sell their own line of makeup, of beauty products. It's a very common thing. Sexy Red is rolling out her own line of makeup. Here's Sexy Red right here. Look at her, excited. Got her makeup, getting ready to do her thing. You know what I mean? Shout out to Sexy Red. She's leveling up. She's got all the support in the world. She's got one song on the Billboard Hot 100. She's had an incredible year. She gets a makeup line. The line is available or coming out, and these are the names of the lip glosses, the titles of the lip glosses. The first one, Coochie Juice. The next one, Booty Hole Brown. The third one, Nut. The fourth one, the whole pink, the whole pink. Her fans are going to be putting the whole pink on their lips. Now, that is, these are the light ones. These are the light ones. These are the almost pal palatable ones. Here's the next four. Yellow Discharge. Yellow discharge. We're getting ready for the holiday season. People are going to buy, this is probably a great stocking stuff. You're going to go get someone some sexy red lip gloss and you're going to put some yellow discharge in the stocking. Yellow discharge. The next one, gonorrhea. Now, a lot of people are very upset about this gonorrhea one. It sounds like a little Wayne song, to be fair. Lil Wayne, for a period of time, he had all these raps about things that happened in the bathroom. Dear Mr. Toilet, I'm the ish. Got these play haters pissed because my toilet paper thick. He was really great at it. One of my favorite songs on the Carter Four was Abortion. Great song. But Sexy Red fans are going to put gonorrhea on their lips. The next one, Blue Balls. The last one, sex on my period. I mean, this is, this is where I now agree with Kaya. Kaya had been making it a point to say that she was very different than Sexy Red. There was a point in time where Kaya seemed to like draw the line in the sand, which is funny to me because Kaya's the first person I remember talking about butt cracks. She is. Little Kim's the first one I remember talking about Watch me make a Sprite can disappear in my mouth. Right? That's what she said. I understand the difference now. I finally see it. There's been people who've been critical of Sexy Red for a while, and I kind of just shrugged it off. You know, I'm like, I mean, you know, you get older and what the kids are into seems more outrageous because you have a different outlook on life and you're more mature and you start apologizing to your idols like Tyler the Creator did to Eminem. But this is crazy. I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one. She is selling yellow discharge and gonorrhea to young women. That's what she, she is selling that. There's got to be something, there's got to be a discussion around this. And this is, from, from what it looks like to me, this is, 
this is the artist Drake is pushing the most or he's around the most. Maybe I'm not watching Drake's feed all the time as much as Drake Glazers like to accuse me of. Maybe I'm not, but like, yellow discharge. Sex of my period. I mean, there, this is, this is, I don't know, man. I, I think it's very difficult for anybody who rocks with Sexy Red to be able to defend how not destructive <laughs> she is. Now, I, I, I don't like, I, I generally don't like to make critical videos on certain types of topics. I don't, you know. In life, I do my best, you know, to let women's stuff be women's stuff. Women don't need to be hearing from me about my opinions. Just straight up. You know, that's just kind of how I am. But I don't know, man. This looks wild. And it reminded me of this one viral video that went viral. I put it quickly in the video about You My Everything when the song first dropped with Drake. There was this girl who went viral talking about how she has a problem with Sexy Red. She hates Sexy Red. Here's a clip. I hate that big Sexy Red. I promise you, I hate that girl. I hate her. I hate her. I wish somebody would make a diss record against her ass. I think I'm a, I'm about to write a diss. I don't like that bitch. I don't, I don't like her at all. Like, she be single-handedly playing in y'all face. And I said to myself, who, who the fuck is her fan base? This is why I hate when y'all listen to her music. Like, y'all keep saying, like, yeah, man. But the beat hit, I don't give a fuck how much a motherfucking beat hit. Let me tell you something. Every time I hear that bitch in my mother's car, I turn her shit off because I know she detrimental to the black community. I know she motherfucking influencing young girls to pop they up and for a baby. I know that I know that's what that bitch doing. And in the same breath, she's influencing these young girls to be ratchet, nasty, and trifling. And then she's telling y'all that y'all got carpet hair. So not only is she influencing y'all to do that, but she's also insulting y'all at the same time. I hate that bitch. I promise you that. She goes in. She goes in for another hour. I Like I said, I kind of just stayed away from it. But it's the holiday season. Sexy Red. Sexy Red is selling coochie juice, booty hole, brown nut, booty hole, pink, yellow discharge, gonorrhea, blue balls, sex on my period to her fans who are young girls. It's going to be crazy seeing stuff in the stockings this season. Let me know what you guys think about this. I, I think that this gets to a different kind of... I, this isn't the first time. It's not the craziest thing we've seen. But... I don't know. This is the first time I'm looking at Sexy Red as something farther than what we've seen with some of her predecessors, Kaya, Little Kim, Adina Howard, however you look at this. This seems like a, this seems like another level and I'm not sure we should be here. <laughs> Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. The mathematical breakdown of this mighty game of rap we in. It's bone thapping in. Systematical culture views us radical, it's all happening. Shaking hands and dapping in. Life through the lens of hip hop, from trip hop to yes, yes, dog. You don't stop, you don't, you don't stop, stop. stop. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening.